Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Ethers. Today we're going to be talking about toxic people. Before I start the video, a couple things I'm going to announce. A, I don't have copyrights to the music that will be playing in the background. B, I do smoke when I make my videos. Today I will be smoking on watermelon punch. Three, for people who like to set intentions for the day, I will give you a little information on the energy that's out there today and what type of intentions you can set. So being that the moon is in the last quarter, um, it will be good today to take responsibilities for your actions, move forward, trust your intuitions, forgive yourself and others, and admit the truth. The moon is in Gemini, so people who would like to learn something today, that would be good for today. Take a different route to wherever you go, whether it's a laundromat, supermarket, learn a new way to get there. Today is a good day for that. Phone in a friend, signing up for a class, writing in your journal, speaking about your traumas. Today is all a good day for that. The sun is still in Leo. So a lot of, I don't know if people realize this, but a lot of smoke screens get revealed in Leo seasons. You start to see your true friends and start to see the reality of situations so yeah we go into virgo season soon so that's a good thing now back to the toxic people when toxic people come into your life after you had an argument with them or you have removed them from your life you have to wonder why why because there's a new toxic cycle that's about to start and nine out of ten these people they come into your life for this, for you to learn certain lessons. And until you learn a lesson, you will keep going through the same lesson with different people. Same lesson, different people. Now, this is how you could tell when a toxic person is coming back into your life. And it's a cycle, a whole new toxic cycle. Number one, they come into your life and they don't apologize for what they have done. So a lot of times they have done bad things disastrous things and they don't apologize for it they don't feel they need to apologize for it why they need to apologize for it? them coming back and talking to you is good enough excuse me yeah that's that's the thinking behind that but again they're here to teach you something you're supposed to learn from these type of relationships it could be a family member a friend co-worker someone you see in the street and don't really know them but you just casually Come across them and they always bring a toxicity into your life. It could be anybody. Anybody it could be. The energy is just going to play out the same way. And like I said, they don't like apologizing. Most people like this, they kind of like narcissistic or have narcissistic tendencies. And that in itself is a problem because they don't like to change. They don't like to feel that they're wrong. They feel everything they do is right and you are the problem. As soon as you try to point a finger at what they're doing wrong or try to put up boundaries and say this is toxic, no, it's like blasphemy. You are the problem. I am not the problem. That's why it's important for you to understand what is happening and learn from these relationships, heal from these relationships, and stop allowing these people coming into your life, just bringing chaos and like just trauma because a lot of people who deal with these toxic people they get traumatized by them and they start to play the victim like i don't understand why this is happening to me i like to tell a lot of people that you're not a victim in life we all play a part in anything we go to whether it's good or bad we play a part in that so instead of looking at yourself as a victim you can look at yourself as someone who is empowered and understand what's going on and take control of the situation. How you can do that? Stop giving them a straw to suck your energy. To come drain you. You know, it's like you're providing endless straws to them. Just come suck my energy. Come drain my energy. And people who are empaths or people who are like sensitive to energy or who know that they have gifts that they're born with kind of have to stay away from these people because they're going to drain you they're going to exchange energies with you you're going to walk in an area or come on a scene with good energy and they're going to drain you and before you know it you're going to be feeling miserable 
and feeling like how this person felt. You know, it's like really exchange. I've been here before. It's a, it's disturbing. It's a disturbing experience to go through, to exchange energies with someone. So that's why you have to just stay firm and keep boundaries up with these type of people. The video that I'm going to do today is not going to be really long. I'm going to touch on a couple of other topics and then I'm going to end the video. Um, another thing you have to be aware of these people that these people normally have, what do you call, flying monkeys. Flying monkeys are just people who are in cahoots with them. The wingman. The one that is an instrument in helping their toxicity play out in your life. You have to remove yourself from them as well. And it's crucial for you to remove yourself from them as well. Because as long as they have um, some input in your life or any no what's going on in your life kind of that didn't make sense but what i'm basically saying is anyone that's in your life that's tied to a toxic person and then you know what's going on in your life or you talk to them and they you updating on what's going on in your life they carry this news right back to the toxic person i'll give you a prime example of what i've been through because i'm <clears throat> don't mind giving examples i have a had a group of um friends that i was um, dealing with really not friends like they were associates you know but they came into my life like they're friends and anybody who come into my life I already know it's a lesson to be learned I'm old enough in life now I've been through this enough I already know it's a lesson to be learned so I always have boundaries up with people but yeah they came into my life like they were friends they always want to invite me over to their house you know because one of them was a chef you know so he liked to cook and Always wanted me over there, which was no problem because we used to hang out. We all used to contribute. But it came to a point that they started to think that they can use me. Like, I'm so nice. I'm so kind hearted. They're going to use me. And I'm not going to go too deep into it. But I had to cut all of them off. All of them. In total, I believe it was like seven of them in total. And I cut the relationship with all of them off and did not turn back. It was three of them who to the day is still trying to come into my life and play nice with me. No, I'm not letting them back in my life. Why? Because I know they're not coming to play nice and I've learned this lesson. I don't need to go through another toxic round with this person or these people to learn a lesson that I've already learned. And I am in a process right now of doing the same thing with another group of associates that I be around, you know. It's a time and a place for everything. And right now, it's not a time to be around toxic people because the energy is ripe for people to manifest the things that they want. This is Leo energy. Leo energy is very big for that. That's why they always talk about the lion's portal, the 8-8 eight, eight portal. It normally starts at 8-1. People say 8-8, eight, eight, but that portal opens at the 1st of August every year. It's called the Lion Gate and it's very, very powerful energy. You know, so you have to pay attune to the people that's coming into your life and stop looking at it as, oh, there's a new person in my life and just accept them in your life. Dilly dally. No, you can't be dilly dally with these people because these people is here for a setback to stop you, to keep you stuck. And I will do a video on that as well. It's keeping you stuck so you can understand what I'm really saying. Full chattel. Now, this video is going on like 10 minutes. So. I'm going to cut the video short because I don't want the video to cut off because I don't have too much storage on my side. I have to work that out. But yeah, if you like the video, you could just give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you could give me a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you think I'm interested and you think that what I'm saying, you like it and you want to see how those channel progress, I'd appreciate it. You could subscribe to my channel.